But before starting, please let me welcome Serge Quadzotti, the president of the jury. Dear young scientists, Mr. President, Madam Director, dear colleagues, members of the jury, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to welcome you today for the finalist presentation in the Concours Jeune Scientifique Luxembourg and to the first open day for Luxembourg schools. I would like to thank the Fondation des Jeunes Scientifiques, especially its chairman, Mr. Carlo Hansen, and its director, Ms. Susanna Eyang, for giving me the privilege of addressing you this morning as chairman of the jury of the contest. The first Young Fuerscher contest was held in 1971. It was the time when Intel invented the microprocessor and the beginning of microcomputers, the first of which being marketed at the end of the 1970s. Today, just over 50 years later, for the 53rd edition of the contest, we find ourselves in a world that has changed profoundly thanks to an acceleration in scientific progress. These advances have had a major impact on technological developments as well as on the way the business world and the economy operate today. Genetic engineering with the possibility of precise genome editing, robotization, 3D printing, artificial intelligence with its many applications in every conceivable field or discipline are just a few examples of the advances available for us today, leading to countless opportunities and prospects for development. However, not all progress is positive. It often presents us with new challenges such as preserving a viable climate on Earth, maintaining a balanced environment, biodiversity, and energy supply as well as social, ethical, and legal challenges. The exemplary creativity and ingenuity of many talented men and women, scientists and engineers, behind all these discoveries, inventions, and innovation was essential to make all this progress possible. Today, we still need countless young talents, young men and women who are ready to take over ready to face today's challenges and to contribute to the scientific advances as well as technological and other developments that society will need over the next 50 years and beyond. Looking at the evolution of the quantity and above all the quality of the project presented by the young scientists over the last years, eight years that I, in which I have been lucky enough to take part in the jury, I can make two statements. Firstly, we have an important reservoir of young talents, which is an important asset for the future of Luxembourg. Secondly, the Luxembourg Young Scientist Contest and all other similar contests in Europe and around the world play an important role in ensuring the next generation of scientists and engineers. The Concours Jeune Scientifique Luxembourg is primarily an initiative that provides a platform that every young person interested in any scientific or engineering discipline is welcome to use. The very first objective is to encourage and support them in developing their interests so that, ideally, it evolves into a real passion. In this context, the Science Next initiative plays an extremely important role. These are seminars that take place throughout the year, often held by members of the jury, during which young people acquire knowledge and skills relating to scientific working methods that they can put to direct use in their projects. In addition, the experts on the jury remain available to the young people after the contest, inviting them to discover the realities in situ in their laboratory or in the company and discussing with them the next steps in their project. However, as its name suggests, the Concours Jean Fouche is also a contest for which we must select the projects to be awarded the grand prizes. What is a Nobel Prize or another prestigious award for an adult scientist is here for a young person the reward of being able to represent Luxembourg 
at one of the few prestigious international competitions for young scientists, whether in the United States, Taiwan, or in different European countries. Over the last few years, the jury, together with the foundation, has gradually adapted the organization of the Luxembourg contest, in particular the way in which the jury operates and the way in which projects are assessed, such as the selection criteria. I think I can safely say that today we have a way of working that is challenging, fun and attractive for young people while enabling us to judge and select the project the best project with a truly objective approach. Today, 10 finalists will have the opportunity to make an individual presentation of their project, who will then be awarded, and each of them will then be awarded with uh, one of the grand prizes. It is therefore a real contest, well aligned with the way major international contests operate. The fact that some of our young prize winners in recent years have gone on to win several prizes at major international competition is an excellent testimony for the quality of our young scientists and the Concours Young Forscher here in Luxembourg. I can only congratulate the Fondation Jeune Scientifique Luxembourg for everything it has achieved in recent years. For me personally, and I think I can speak on behalf of all my colleagues on the jury, it is a real pleasure to be able to contribute to this contest, and above all in an atmosphere of extremely pleasant cooperation with the whole team at the Foundation. Thank you for your confidence and for the excellence of our relationship. I would also like to thank all my colleagues on the jury for their voluntary work. We are now a team of 18 experts covering all scientific and engineering disciplines from public institutions, universities, public research centers, as well as private companies. I now wish the 10 finalists presenting their project today a lot of joy and success. To all those who are following us on the live stream and who will be visiting the stands today and tomorrow, I hope you enjoy and find inspiration in discovering the projects of our young scientists. Thank you for your attention.